Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, today we are going to Plow Road. Uh, it's not really too much snow, but it's got a lot of ice on it. So we're loading up the Bobcat. We put, me and Sean put the chains on yesterday. I don't know why this chain is so loose. We got it really tight. But uh, we got the other side nice, nice and tight. So this side's a little, a little loose. But that's okay. She's chained down, we're ready to go. We're not going very far, so I don't have it chained down really good, but really pretty good. If I was going like 50 miles, I'd have her chained down really good. Sean, you made it. Welcome, Sean. You made it. Okay, so time to unload. Well, I didn't have my tripod with me, so I couldn't film what I was doing with the uh, skid steer. But basically, I was just trying to break, rip up some of the ice that's on the road because it's a little bit of a hill, but this isn't the bad hill. I'll show you where the, the bad hill is. Meanwhile, Dad is uh, stacking bales on the other side there. This is our uh, second last field. Third last, actually. There's one more at home there, close. There's over 600 rolls here, so we got a couple days here. There's a little creek down here. And it always floods over top and washes the road out. I have a pipe that has to go here. But I have to bring the hole here. See, when, uh, when we had all that snow in November, and uh, it melted, at the end of November, this creek filled up with water again. Now it's froze. This is usually this is usually about two, three feet deep here when it gets up to the road. So I just filled in with some snow and dirt in the low spots here. It's always rough, rougher for the truck. So hopefully that'll set overnight. And uh, won't be as rough there. <laughs> Got a couple hangers here. I gotta bring the power saw, cut that up. Just cut it up for firewood. Those would always clip the combine when we're coming through here. 
or the grain trucks. But. Here's the hill that sometimes we have a little trouble getting up. Because you have to slow down for this little corner here. And then usually the big semi has a semi truck has a hard time getting up, but or the tractor if it's pulling a, a wagon or something. We've got this ice here. Which I got some salt, I'm gonna throw it down on here. See what happens. So I kind of scraped it and chewed it up with the chains. I actually think it was better just with the hard packed snow on it. But I'm going to throw some salt down. The salt that I use for the cows and I scraped some up from the highway. The sand truck had uh, come into the uh, approach and dumped a bunch of sand and salt so I picked it up. Shouldn't let it go to waste. Good afternoon everyone. Well, I'm back out in the field today. We took a day off yesterday to go get this trailer. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of cold today. Minus 16. Holy smoke, 16. <laughs> That's not cold at all. Well, it is cold with the wind, but my friends down south and east are getting it a hell of a lot colder. But Sean's almost uh, loaded now. Dad went with the load already. And I'm just waiting for my, my load here. But yeah. Well, still quite a few rolls left here to go. Well, another morning, another load. There goes Sean. I'm just waiting to get loaded up here. Dad's not hauling with us today because he's not feeling 100% today, so it's just me and Sean today. Damn mice have been chewing the bales like crazy. Tearing off the wrap and the twines. loaded up 14 rolls this is a 30 foot trailer so it's bigger than my other trailer the other one's 28 the one Sean's driving and dinner time mom brought us a uh, KFC <laughs> and Sean is back already well I'm gonna take off and go unload well it's five o'clock and it's pitch black out right now. It's actually starting to, a couple little flurries come. Oh, there comes Sean. Uh, that's it for today, I'm done. I got my last load and I'm gonna take her home, unload. Well, on this field, there's still probably about 200 rolls left here. Doesn't look like it, but there is. And uh, Lori's just gonna go to one of his rows because when it gets dark you can't find the bales so oh Sean should have put that that piece up in the back or else it just bounces around
Yeah, it's starting to get kind of cold. Well, it's, it warmed up, but it got windy a little bit, so the wind makes it colder. Anyway, time to take take her home. See how the mice were chewing the, the bales on the bottom? See the damage is just not bad. Well, the tractor's inside, done for the day. So that's hauling bales in a nutshell, what we've been doing for the past two weeks. So it doesn't really change, doesn't, whatever. So that's all for today. And I just turned the lights off. Anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you all later. Make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe for more. Talk to you later.